Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving technology in the world of Tesla. If you're a fan of Tesla or just interested in the latest consumer self-driving tech, welcome to the show. In this episode, we'll be covering the highly anticipated version 9 of Tesla's software. It's loaded with tons of new features, fun Easter eggs, and big changes to Tesla's autopilot system. We've got lots of exciting content coming your way, so stick with us and let's get started. Hey everyone, Michael here with Evolution Tesla. On this channel, we're going to be covering one of the most unique and exciting reasons to own a Tesla vehicle. Not only are Teslas incredibly fun, practical, and eco-friendly, but they get even better with time with regular free over-the-air updates. We'll be covering all of the new updates as they roll out, including new features, updates, and improvements to Tesla's autopilot system as it makes its way towards full self-driving capability. We've got two complex routes to test out Autopilot's advanced lane keeping capabilities, and we'll be putting it through a full range of everyday driving scenarios as it becomes more advanced. To start us off, let's hop in the car and check out all the new features and changes in version nine. Okay, so we're here with the new version nine of the software. It's got a big overhaul to the whole UI. And so let's dig in and check out some of the new features. One of the coolest new features in version 9 is the dash cam feature. You can see on the icon right here that the dash cam is activated and recording with the little red dot there. So it's actually using the built-in autopilot camera and recording that to a USB stick that's uh, plugged in down here in the center console. It'll record about an hour of footage from, the, from driving and it also records a little bit after you get out of the car. Now the quality isn't great, but uh, you know it's better than having no dash cam at all. And Tesla says they're still going to be working on it, possibly adding more cameras. Uh, hopefully there'll be a, a rear view camera added uh, to the dash cam feature. And they may actually add a parking mode where it will record while you're parked for an extra level of security. And if you want to see the last 10 minutes of recording from your dash cam, you just tap the icon here and it saves the last 10 minutes and prevents it from being overwritten. If you want to turn the dash cam off, you can just press and hold, and then it stops recording. Tap it again to turn it back on. One fun quirky add-on is a new Easter egg called Tesla Atari, featuring four Atari games you can play on the main screen while you're parked. So to get in there, you hit the Tesla T, you get your list of Easter eggs. Tap on Atari. So far, Lunar Lander's been my favorite. You can make it full screen. You get some audio going here. You actually use the wheel controls, the two scroll wheels. Got some retro low-res graphics going on here. I'm not very good at it yet, but we'll see if I can land this. Nice. That's a little fun time waster while you're sitting at the supercharger. All right, let's try missile command here. We'll make it full screen. You control your cursor here. And that doesn't seem to be sound for this one. There we go. So there you have the new Tesla Tari feature. I find the other two games a bit hard to control, but it's still pretty cool. And what other car company is doing this sort of thing with their infotainment system? 
So one of the one of the things that people aren't too happy with with this new update is the fact that you can't have two apps on the screen at the same time. It's just maps and one app down here. So you've got your media, or you can have your camera, or you can have a different uh, app like energy, but you can't have like a camera and energy at the same time. Now Tesla is usually pretty good about listening to their customers, so hopefully it's something that they can change in the future. Although one smart Tesla owner did find a little bit of a workaround where you can have the media and the camera or another app up at the same time. So what you need to do is bring up your media, start sliding up your camera and the media at the same time, and then let go. And you've got access to your media controls, your maps and camera at the same time. You can even play, you can pause, you can control your media here. But if you bring up anything else, like your climate or navigation directions, then you'll lose your sneaky setup there. One nice update is the uh, settings for the navigation. It's all right here in the touch of a button. So you've got your avoid tolls, ferries, using HOV lanes is a new feature. So it'll try to route you through HOV lanes if your car is able to uh, have access to those rather than having to go all the way into the settings and the app settings. Nice and convenient. You got a brand new media player here, which has three different modes. So you've got the mini player here with simple controls and gives you lots more room for your maps. You can swipe all the way up and get a, a full view with all your different stations and favorites for browsing. And then you've got a medium mode where you've got your favorites and recents as well as your simple controls. If you need quick access to your most recent app, you just swipe up on the button here. And in my case, I had the camera and I like to have that open all the time. You've got a brand new controls for the climate controls. So everything's all accessible here. If you want your cold weather, it's right here. Your heated steering wheel, windshield wipers, all your seats. And then you've got access to your bioweapon defense mode and everything on the other page. And now all of your controls and settings are in one area. You've got quick controls here for your most commonly used functions like your lights and your doors. And one exciting thing to come is going to be in the autopilot section where they're going to have the new drive on nav feature, which will route you through from on ramp to off ramp through the traffic, making its own lane changes on its own and taking the off ramp when it's time to get off if you have a destination in your navigation. One other new feature in this update is called obstacle aware acceleration. And this will actually prevent you from accelerating quickly when you're going at a slow speed if an obstacle is detected in front of the car. Apparently some people miss the brake pedal, hit the gas, and with the incredible acceleration of Teslas have been known to drive through their garage doors and buildings. So I guess that could be a useful feature for some. Another new feature that's quite useful is the ability to share destinations from your mobile device to the navigation system in the car. Just launch your favorite navigation app on your phone, enter a destination, hit the share button, and then the Tesla icon, and your car will have your destination locked in by the time you're ready to drive. If you don't see the Tesla option, scroll over to the more icon and add Tesla to the sharing options. Probably the most significant update in version 9 is the upgrade to the autopilot system. Previously, only some of the forward-facing cameras were active, but this new update activates all eight cameras for a full 360-degree view around your car. This provides much more information in the binnacle display, showing many different types of vehicles in front, beside, and behind you, as well as enabling new features such as blind spot warning and auto lane changes on minor highways and city streets. Stay tuned for our next videos where we'll dig into new features and capabilities of Autopilot version 9 in more detail. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase any new Tesla, now including any Model 3, you can use my referral code here to get yourself a $100 supercharging credit. Also, with a few referrals, I'll be able to get early access to the software so I can update you on the latest features and updates before it's released to the public. If this is your first time here, I hope you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest updates and self-driving tech from Tesla. 
If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, or maybe you want to see some different camera angles, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.